Welcome back, Survivalists. So in the prepping and survival communities, duct tape has earned a reputation for being an absolutely invaluable tool, and rightfully so. There are literally dozens of use cases for duct tape during emergency situations. And to prove it, today I'm gonna to bring you 10 duct tape survival hacks, volume one, because I'm that confident that I could create an entire series all around duct tape. The first duct tape survival hack is creating a waterproof cup or container using duct tape. Now we all know that water is often the number one priority in many survival situations, but it's not uncommon to find yourself in a situation where you don't have a cup or a container to transport or store that water. And that's where duct tape comes in. It's pretty easy to make a quick down and dirty temporary container for water for you to either transport or drink out of it. And to make a cup out of duct tape is actually fairly easy. You need to start off with some sort of cylinder type object to use as a template. You can use a stick or a log or even another water bottle or even a soda can. And you start off by wrapping the tape around the outside of it with the sticky side out. And then you do another layer around that with the sticky side down. And then you do the same thing with the bottom of the cup as well. You want the sticky side out so that you have the non-sticky side that's the bottom of the cup. Then you do another layer with the sticky side in. So you have the non-sticky side on the inside and outside. And don't be afraid to do a few extra passes with the duct tape as well, just to really ensure that you've got all the small cracks and crevices and that this thing is fully waterproof. And you should be left with something like this that has the non-sticky side of the duct tape all on the inside of the cup as well as the outside of the cup. Now you can use this to go and get dirty water and transport it back to your camp in order to boil it and filter it. Or if you have two containers, you can have one container for dirty water and have another cup for clean drinking water after you filter that water. And there's also a lot of other use cases for this as well, such as using this to store berries or nuts that you gather, or maybe meat after you've processed a fish or a game or even worms to go fishing with. And you can use this exact same technique to make containers of all different sizes. So let's say you didn't actually want a cup, but you want a much larger bowl to store something in. Use the exact same method to do that. The next duct tape survival hack is to use it to make cordage. We all know how invaluable cordage can be in many survival situations, especially wilderness survival situations where you need cordage to build a shelter. And duct tape is incredibly easy to turn into cordage. First thing you can do is just pull the duct tape out and start twisting it and it will start wrapping around itself with the sticky sides and create pretty strong cordage for you. Now if you needed much stronger cordage you could use this technique to get two or three strands like this and then start weaving them in to make even stronger cordage. If you have a project that doesn't need as strong a cordage or you don't have much duct tape to go around, you can actually split the duct tape in half and make much thinner cordage for those projects that don't need as much strength. And with an entire roll of duct tape, you can create a lot of very strong cordage. And there's tons of use cases for cordages in many survival situations. Obviously, affixing two sticks together to create a frame for a shelter, this could definitely come in handy. But you can also use this to tie down tarps for your shelter as well. And in emergency situations, there's just a lot of scenarios that emerge where you have two items that you need to affix to each other, and you can do that in many different configurations using duct tape cordage. The next use for duct tape is going to be to repair clothes. So your clothing system is your shelter system. You need to understand that, that this is the first layer of defense and this is the first layer of your shelter system. Having a tear in your shirt is just as bad as having a tear in your tent or a tear in your sleeping bag. And duct tape is very useful for repairing tears in your clothes and in your shirts or any other fabric materials such as your tent and your sleeping bag. Put a small patch of duct tape over a tear or if you really wanna make sure that it's gonna stay on there, you can completely wrap it around your leg or around your clothing item as well. And in many situations, this is gonna help keep your body temperature warm, right? It's gonna prevent that cold air from seeping in or that water from touching your skin or prevent insects and ticks and spiders and everything else from crawling with inside your clothes. And if you have any terrors in your clothes, you want to address them pretty quickly because if you don't, you know they're gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. And pretty soon, you know, your pants are gonna be essentially useless because the bottom half of the pants are just kind of hanging off. So as soon as you see a small tear, get some duct tape, patch it up, 
and really focus on maintaining your clothing system because that is the first layer of your shelter system. The next use for duct tape is going to be creating a knife sheath. So there are plenty of scenarios where you could lose your sheath for your knife, or maybe you're in a situation where a kitchen knife is the only blade that you have access to and what you need to use, and you wanna be able to carry that with you. Well, this is where creating your own knife sheath comes in handy. And this is actually incredibly easy to do with duct tape, and there's several different configurations that you can do. You can create this entirely out of duct tape, but what I like doing is getting a strip of cardboard, folding it over in half, and then wrapping the duct tape around to create an essentially water resistant seal around that. And it's also not that hard to create a belt loop using duct tape for your sheath as well so that you can carry your knife with you. And having a sheath like this is one gonna protect you from the fixed blade knife. Like obviously you don't wanna just stick this in your backpack or carry it in your pocket or something like that. That's very dangerous for you. It's going to help protect the knife as well from getting um, dented and scratched up and losing its blade. And the sheath is more or less water resistant with the duct tape. And it's gonna make this much more accessible because you can carry this on your belt now rather than having to kind of bury this or wrap this up in other cloth and bury it in your backpack. The next use case for duct tape is going to be repairing broken windows. So whether it's a full on crack in your window that you don't wanna get worse or a chip in your window that you don't wanna turn into a crack, you can easily use duct tape to seal up those cracks or those broken windows, prevent them from getting much worse. During hurricanes and tornadoes and bad storms, it's not uncommon for debris and branches to be flying through the air, and it's very easy for one of them to break a window in your home, letting in water and other cold air. You can use this to help patch up those windows. And if you want an even stronger repair, you can use duct tape with cardboard to patch up the entire window. Now, obviously this is not gonna be a permanent fix, but this is a temporary fix until the natural disaster or that scenario is over and you get a replacement for your window. The next use for duct tape is going to be creating a bandage. So if you get a cut on yourself, you really want to pay attention to that and seal it up as soon as you can. For the most part, bandages are there to help prevent cuts from getting infected and getting dirty during bad situations. And if you don't have a proper bandage, you can use duct tape to affix gauze to your cut. If you don't have any proper gauze, you can pretty much use anything. You can use paper towels or toilet paper and affix that to your cut as well. And it's gonna put pressure on your wound to help stop it bleeding, but most importantly, it's gonna help keep it clean and keep it from getting infected. Now using duct tape as a bandage may seem a little silly, but bandages are essentially two components. You have some sort of absorbing material here, usually some sort of gauze, and then you have an adhesive strip to keep it on that wound. So I don't see any reason why you can't use paper towels or toilet paper and duct tape as a makeshift bandage. I think that would be just as effective as a proper band-aid like this. Now, one thing to keep in mind though with the duct tape is that it's not necessarily meant to affix something to skin. So you may have to wrap it all the way around your limb to really affix it to it properly. Um, and when you take that off, that is gonna rip off a lot of your hair. So kind of keep that in mind. That's why when I was demonstrating it, I did it way up here where I don't have nearly as much hair. Now, the next use for duct tape during emergency situations is going to be to repair leaks. Duct tape is surprisingly effective at repairing leaks in many different scenarios. Now you have a leaking pipe in your home or a hose or some sort of container that has a leak in it. Duct tape can be very, very effective at completely sealing up that leak and stopping it. Now there are scenarios, especially when there's a lot of pressure behind that water, let's say in a pipe in your home, where duct tape would not be able to completely seal that up or be a temporary fix. But what it could still do is help reduce the flow of water. Even with a leaky pipe, you can go from having a geyser of water shooting out a pipe to just having a constant trickle using duct tape that is much more manageable with a bucket under that leak. Now, obviously duct tape is really meant to be a temporary fix for a lot of these situations, not a permanent fix. But if you're in a bad thunderstorm and you have a leaky roof or a leaky gutter or a leaky hose, duct tape can make a very effective temporary fix for those issues. The next use for duct tape is to tape up the bottom of your pants to prevent ticks and other insects from crawling up your pant leg. 
Now this may seem a little odd for some people, but here in Maryland, we have a lot of ticks. In other regions, there's other insects and critters that can get on your boots and then crawl up your legs through your open pant legs. And by taping up the bottom of your pants, you're creating a much tighter seal in the first layer of your shelter, which is your clothes, and helping prevent bugs and other insects from crawling up your legs. I also see this being very useful during winter time. If you don't have the appropriate attire, we've all been walking through snow and then you get the snow going into your shoes and getting your socks soaking wet. You could have some duct tape and really seal that up and get a water resistant seal between your pants and your shoes or your boots to help prevent that snow from going in there. The next use for duct tape is going to be to mark a trail. There's plenty of scenarios where you may want to go on the exact same path that you took before through the woods. So let's say you're establishing a campsite and you found a stream 100 yards away. You can mark a trail to that stream just to make sure you can find your way back either to your campsite or back to that stream. And let's say you're hunting and you get a big buck or an elk, but you can't carry all that meat back to your camp you can mark the trail on your way back to that kill so that you can find it the next day. Or maybe you're establishing a new campsite and you're kind of scouting out the areas around your campsite. You can mark the trees kind of indicating what directions you've already explored and what directions you have yet to explore. And duct tape is somewhat reflective, which I think helps make it a pretty good trail indicator. The next use for duct tape is going to be sealing the airflow around your doors and windows. So a lot of people don't really think about this, but with many doors and windows, especially older doors and windows, you can feel a little bit of breeze around those doors, a little bit of gaps around them. And you can oftentimes even see sunlight coming in around these gaps around a door, for example. Now, a lot of times you do have some sort of foam padding around a door to try to close up those gaps. But obviously like those wear down over time and sometimes they get brittle and just break off. And it's not uncommon to see people with a quarter inch gap around their doors. Now let's say you're experiencing a winter blackout and you're trying to keep your home as warm as possible. One of the first things I would do is get some duct tape and run it around the seams of all your doors and windows just to make sure there's no cold air seeping into your home. This can also be very helpful if there's a biological, nuclear, or chemical threat, and you wanna to try to keep as much air from coming into your home as possible. And I'm really curious if you guys know of any other use cases for duct tape in emergency situations, I want you guys to comment down below with those use cases, and maybe I'll feature that in one of my next videos. If you guys wanna learn 10 survival hacks that could save your life, check out my video right here, breaking those down. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more prepping and survival videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video.